What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. Today we're going to be talking about how you can start a Madden 22 theme team. Very, very easy. All right. A lot of you guys, including my veterans, you guys are on the fence about where you want to go. Some of you guys are naming all the players that you're going to be going after. You know, 49ers, the Ravens, you got the Washington football team. So definitely look in the comments for a lot of the guys that come in that are Madden vets. If you guys are interested in starting your theme team, uh, obviously there are other avenues about going about it. But what I try to do is create a community where we can all talk about it together and then we can experiment together and we figure out who the trash players are, what the best theme teams are, and then we, we you know, we go into a head-to-head -head game and try to experiment with it, all while making sure that we're taking care of those challenges that are gonna be dropping very early as the game launches, right? So with everybody that's asking a lot, it's a lot of excitement going on as far as like how to build a theme team early. g -Mile, what's going on? I'm getting the MVP edition, I'm getting the Dynasty edition. The number one thing that I think a lot of you guys don't really look at this is what I started to do when I first got into Mutt. I looked at what was in my binder, right? And pretty much what happens is, as you start to play challenges and as you start to, you know, evolve within the game itself, you're gonna get a lot of free Nat content. A lot of you guys know what Nats are, non-auctionable players, they suck and their, you know, their training value is disgusting. So this is another thing I wanna point out really quickly, right? Even right now, I still have Nat players. That, you know, once you start to upgrade a player, they become Nat. But I'm looking for actual Nat players that I got from EA. Hold on, because um, just to kind of give you guys examples of it, like these guys right here, right? Th th this guy right here is a Nat player. I don't know wh where did I get this idiot from. I don't know where I got him from, but he's 1775. It was a pack opening. Team builders. Why is he only 1775 though? Hold on, let me let me find another Nat player really quickly because I know I got a lot of them. Did I, did I get rid of all the 95s that I had? I, I know I pretty much had a lot of Nat, just like like okay, this guy, this guy was a Nat player, right? So I I don't know what I you know what I was doing with the idiot. This guy was another Nat player. So you'll see that the training values are a little bit lower and stuff like that. The reason that I'm pointing that out is, in order for you to build a successful theme team, you're going to have to utilize training to enhance the players that you already have. So some of you guys were asking about the Nat aspect, and yo, I'm building my theme team, but it's gonna cost me so much training to do it. How can I get training cheap? Once the game drops, we'll talk about that with the training. But for now, just understand this, right? The nat values of cards are gonna be a lot less than auctionable cards. So you have to be able to decipher that as you go through when you're starting to build your theme team. Now, when you start playing challenges, and if you're an EA Play uh, subscriber, like you know, you subscribe to EA Play, that's how a lot of us are gonna get the game early for 10 hours, you're gonna get free packs, right? That's gonna have a certain amount of whatever team pack, you could pick a team, you know, Niners, whatever, uh, Rams, you pick a theme team, right? Uh, whichever team that you're gonna be investing in heavily, this is what I urge you guys to do. Once you start getting and accumulating a lot of, you know, gold cards and silver cards in Madden 22, you're gonna go over here, you look at your item binder tab. You're gonna see which teams you're getting the most cards with. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna, all right, yo, like right here, I got 191 Niners. Obviously, because I invested heavily into the Niners, all my gold packs, for those of you guys getting MVP and Dynasty Editions, you're going to get gold packs. If you're going Niners, you're going to want to invest in the Niners gold pack, right? Uh, anything else that you guys are going to be doing, you're going to want to invest in that. Now, the reason that I'm pointing this out, a lot of you guys don't realize much of what goes on in Mutt is right in your face. EA Sports has done a better job of like deciphering where our players are with the exception of where our power up passes are we can never find our power up passes i have to rely heavily on you guys to tell me where my power ups are like i have no idea what the passes are but with this we can assess early on where our team you know what what players or whatever's going on how many players are there and from doing this you can determine what theme team you want now the reason that this is going to be very important next gen plays a lot different than current gen so let's say for whatever reason, a lot of you guys are Browns fans. You guys coming out the woodworks. Yo, G-Bye, I'm going Browns, bro. I don't care. Browns this, Browns that. Me and your mom's all night. Whatever. Sounds good, right? Let's say, for instance, this is the beginning of Madden 22. And these are the cards that I have. And I want to put together, you know, I want to put together a Browns theme team. Well, guess what? I got, a power, I got my quarterback. I got his power up right there. I got Kareem Hunt. I got a running back. And then you start to look through other things, the silvers, you know, the other power-ups, some of the goals and everything like that. And you start to evaluate the need and what else you're going to, you know, what else you're going to need to add to create that theme team for yourself. Because you're going to need 25 players. Right now I'm showing 42, but obviously a lot of them are power-ups. But this is something that a lot of you guys overlook. 
and pretty much you just look for yo i'm gonna go to the auction house gmi and i'm just gonna search and dude that's gonna be a nightmare because at the launch of the game we're talking august 20th most of us are gonna get the game on the 12th right we'll see it's not gonna be a lot of stuff on the auction house at that time once the game is launched there's gonna be so many things when you search in the auction house by the team it's gonna be very very hard unless you know specifically what you're looking for which is why i said a lot of you guys that are you know mud aficionados you guys just write it down you guys pretty much got spreadsheets in your phone like yo let me copy and paste this and you just paste it in the comments and then people see what you're building this is going to be a very very important aspect come launch time and a lot of you guys will be like yo thank you Jima. i actually looked at my team in the binder and yo i had a theme team i didn't even know remember right i want to do a niner and a washington football theme team but let me tell you this right now based on some of the cards that i'm seeing like the team affinity like that cam newton card and some of the stuff that's going on the team affinity is going to be sick at launch we may end up all together not going with the Niners, not going with the Washington football team. Just based on one card or two cards that's OP on a team and the ratings and the attributes actually matter. That's why this is very important because we can just pick up and go. And like I said, the way that you get all these miscellaneous cards is through doing challenges, playing head to head, getting those free packs. Maybe you're gonna go in at launch and start opening gold packs. That's actually a very, very smart thing to do as well. Uh, for a lot of you guys that don't know, early in the game, right, the get a gold player packs, people don't realize how valuable it is. Me, I specifically understand it. I've been doing it since like, I guess Madden 18. I'll just come in and just drop, a, you know, maybe like 50k coins. I'll, I'll buy 10 of them. You know, like, bam. All right, let's see what it is. Obviously, we're late in the year right now, so it doesn't really matter. We, you know, all the cards are very, very hot overall. But let me tell you something. When you start pulling glitchy things out of this, especially when they drop Legends and Limiteds, this can be a complete influence on your theme team. Because if you pull a highly rated card and it's not part of your theme team, what do we do? We sell it. Now we have more coin currency to continue to attack our theme team. But in order to get the cards, that's where you guys have difficulty if you're not buying bundles. Now for me, you guys treat me like, yo bro, g I got you bro, I'm about to give you money for a bundle. You guys are donating stuff for bundles. So I'm gonna be doing bundles on stream based on donations from you. Like you guys are just like, yo, whatever. Like I, I don't, look, like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Even the guys that come in just to hate, definitely appreciate it. Because like I said, if it draws you back, it draws you back. But my goal is to make sure that we all have fun and that we all be, you know, we're all able to put together our teams and we understand what goes on. So say we pull an 83 like this, he's a Raider at the beginning of the year. And for whatever reason, you know, he's 83 is probably going for like 25, 30 K, whatever. He's, he's getting sold instantly, but it cost me 5 K. So now we can go and invest in another card for whatever theme team we're using. These are just the things that I do. And you know, a lot of you guys are picking my brain like, yo, how do you get all that other stuff? Because I wasn't always able to get you know, you guys to donate to me and stuff like that. When I first started making videos, it was all on me. I've always been pretty much a grinder in the game because grinding is what makes you get Mutt Master. And, you know, once was it Madden 15 with, um, uh, uh, was it, uh, Richard Sherman? That was the first year of the Mutt Master. We went crazy, but I was always grinding prior to that. So when you start to grind through challenges and stuff like that, a lot of the reasons for why we do this is to get those miscell miscellaneous cards. Like when you click it and you go to the milestones, it's gonna tell you what you get. These Nat Fantasy packs and stuff like that, there's gonna be a lot of them in abundance. Especially for those of you guys that play EA Play, they got some free packs you're gonna get there. So you're gonna have a lot of players that are just there for you, ready to go. And that's how you're gonna fill your binder up because you are going to grind. And I'm gonna be grinding online with you guys during live streams and encourage you guys to get that done and let you guys see the packs that I get live so it kind of makes sense, you know, where we going with it. Because a lot of what EA does, they give you a taste of everything. So you're gonna get a version of whatever promo is there. Here you go, guys. Here you go, take this right here. This is for you. And then now you gotta figure out how to finish everything else up. So challenges are a huge part in getting that binder like that. To get a gold pack is huge. And these are ways that you're gonna be able to get you know, you might go in a different direction. I'm telling you guys right now, depending on how Madden 22 plays, I may not go 49er and watching the football theme team. I may, after grinding the game for a couple days and go into my binder and look at the team like, oh, whoa, the Bengals are pretty good. You know what? I got Jamar Chase. You see what I'm saying? Because I got my rookie premier collectibles. I might just go Bengals. Uh, Bengals. I, I know they're going to drop Taylor Mays again. He's a fan favorite. He's coming. They got other players we can use. 
I'm letting you guys understand this because if you are not yet on next gen, you got to get on it. And I know the consoles are hard to get. They're going to be doing a lot of, um, you know, restocks in the next coming weeks. We've been talking about it during the live streams. Um, if you guys can get one, I, I, I definitely want you guys to have it, especially because if you want to compete, everything is on next gen. And there's so much money out there for all you guys. And building your team is going to be one of the primary responsibilities of myself to make sure that you guys get the most out of the cards. So the, you got to really start to lock in. And if you guys are set in stone, I'm going Washington, g -Mod. I'm going Washington. All right, go Washington. But I'm going to tell you this much. For whatever reason, if it turns out that the Browns are OP, I'm going Browns. Dude, I don't... Listen, I know you guys are fans of these teams. I don't care about any kind of fandom. I want to win. Whichever one of these 32 teams I'm going to accumulate the most free cards from by playing challenges. Maybe we get the EA Play drops. The gold player, uh, the gold player packs from EA Play, or pulling gold, uh, get a gold player. Whichever way we get to fill this up, the easier way I can get to 25 of one team to get a boost, and it looks suitable. Like I said, the team affinity is looking sick. Look out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Gmines World. I'm gonna be posting some of those new team affinity cards, by the way, uh, for Madden 22. Whichever route we have to go, get used to looking at this right here, and we're going that we're gonna go in that direction. Now, obviously. And it's Lions, we ain't doing it. Like, yo, bro, no offense to you Lion fans, but bro, other than Calvin Johnson, what you guys got? I ain't doing it. I'm gonna tell you this again. It's just for you to have more of an idea of what's actually happening within the game. And once you get used to it, you'll see with the um, the theme diamonds, um, the other players that they get that give you the boost and stuff like that, um, they're going to be able to give you those boosts probably at launch, which is gonna be August 20th. So you're going to look for those things and you'll get the additional team chemistries. You know, the team captain gives you three of a team chemistry. That's the way we're going to do it. But I just felt that it was necessary because I'm getting so many questions about, is it necessary for a theme team? Yes. EA has made it impossible to compete without having some form of theme team. So we will go through the cheapest and the easiest ones. But for the most part, if you're new and you're just getting into it, or even if you're one of my veterans, Start to do this. Look at how many you have after a couple days of, ground, uh, of grinding and go with one of those theme teams and get the boost and see what I'm talking about with next gen because it definitely makes a difference. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you're having an unbelievable day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.